to have a clear view of 5G, it is important to understand that the 5G is not only about the huge data speed, rather it is more a technology linked to gaps and opportunities in the different fields. 5G has been developed mainly to achieve and fulfill some requirements that are associated with more applications and opportunities. The requirements are the first one is critical communication and ultra reliable and low latency communication or URLLC. Then the second one is enhanced mobile broadband EMPP. And the third one is the massive machine type communication or the massive Internet of Things. Focusing on the 5G low and ultra low latency and industry 4.0 requirements. We mentioned before that the 5G technology will provide the ultra low latency and the latency definition is the duration between the time of sending and receiving of information. This delay is decreasing from around 200 milliseconds in 4G technology and we go down to the target of 1 millisecond with 5G. One of the factors which is helping to have the ultra low latency is using more efficient scheduling for ultra reliable low latency communication. By introducing a new concept which is the scheduling unit has been decreased so we are using a new concept we refer to as mini slot instead of the normal slot and I will explain after what is the meaning of mini slot. And to imagine how small this latency in 5G is, you should know that the average reaction time for humans to a visual stimulation is 250 milliseconds. And imagine now that your car could react 250 times faster than you. Imagine it could also respond to hundreds of incoming information and also can communicate its reactions back to other vehicles and route signals all within milliseconds. So as we mentioned, this ultra low latency will enable the 5G to support use cases with strict requirements for extremely low latency, as low as one millisecond, and requiring high reliability, around 99.999%. Some examples of those use cases and applications include public safety, remote surgery, emergency response, autonomous and self-driving, and industrial automation. Now we need to understand how the 5G is able to achieve the ultra-reliable low latency communication. So. One of the reasons is that the 5G is using more efficient scheduling for the ultra-reliable low latency communication services and it will be possible by introducing a scheduling unit smaller than the slot which is originally used before in 4G and we are now using in 5G the concept of mini slot. So the use of mini slot will enable to quickly schedule ultra reliable low latency transmission starting at any OFDM or signal frequency division multiplexing sample to meet the strict latency requirements so it can have higher priority over the other enhanced mobile broadband transmissions as it is more demanding for requirements of low latency. The mini slot is the minimum scheduling unit which we are using in 5G and the length of mini slot can range from 1 to 13 OFDM symbols and OFDM stands for orthogonal frequency division multiplexing but the mini slot length of 2 or 4 or 7 symbols is recommended by 3GBB to be used for 5G networks. 
So a user can be allocated a main slot, which is less than the slot, and the slot is composed of 14 samples. The main slot will enable the non-slot based scheduling that will have higher priority over the enhanced mobile broadband transmissions as it will be demanding more requirements related to lower latency. It is envisioned that the non-slot based scheduling, which is depending on the main slot, is essential to fulfill the challenging latency targets, especially in lower spectrum. There are some other factors and concepts which are improving the latency and helping the 5G to achieve the high availability and the ultra low latency. And we will mention some of them here. So the first one is the new numerology and transmission time interval TTI duration. So in 3GBB, a very flexible frame structure for 5G new radio was introduced and the new frame structure can offer different possibilities to shorten the duration of the TTI which is a clear advantage comparing to LTE. The second concept or feature which is helping to reduce the latency is using the uplink grant free transmission. So for the extremely low latency and reliability requirement, it is desirable to support the uplink grant free transmission, which means that the data transmission is transmitted without resource request. So the uplink grant free transmission can avoid the regular hand check delay. So sending the scheduling request and waiting for the uplink grant allocation. The third reason which is helping to achieve the ultra reliable low latency communication and especially for reliability is using the micro diversity. And the micro diversity refers to the case that having multiple antennas at either the transmitter side or the receiver side or both. So for ultra reliable low latency communication services, single user single antenna transmission is the most preferred mode due to the design target to support the high reliability. And the ultra reliable low latency communication link should be operated with at least two multiplied by two or even more number of antennas at the transmitter and the receiver side. So all of those factors are helping to achieve the ultra reliable low latency communication in 5G and to be and to cause duration or latency to be very small compared to other generations and especially 4G. The third pillar for developing the 5G is the Massive Machine Type Communication or MTC. And MTC is defined to be the type of communication between machines over wired or wireless networks where data generation and information exchange is taking place with minimal or no intervention from humans. The massive machine type communication will provide the ability to support at least 1 million IoT connections per square kilometer with very long battery life that can reach more than 10 years. So the massive machine type communication will enable us to have smart cities or smart streets or smart ports, connected factories, or connected cars and much more applications. You should note also that the machine type communication, the MTC, is expected to play a big role within the future of 5G system. 
But there are many challenges, of course, with using the massive machine type communication and specifically scalable and efficient connectivity. Because for a massive number of devices, sending very short packets, which is not done properly in cellular systems, as it is designed for human type communication. And finally, the massive machine type communication solutions need to enable a wide range coverage and a deep indoor penetration while having low cost and being energy efficient.